and we are seeing that the cost of living is unbearable. The taxation measures that were put in place through this finance bill are going to cripple most of the businesses in Mount Kenya. We are already seeing the disparation level among people. This bill is just going to make it worse. The support that was there coming from government, the social protection, the NHIF, all those things seem to be disappearing on the day. And yet, there is nobody within government who is voicing those things. If this government is not serving us, we can be able to bring it to an end before the end of the, seven, uh, the five years term that they think they have to serve. It's not mandatory that you must remain in South State House for five years. We can, we can make your stay shorter if you are not useful to Kenyans. So the cost of living is unbearable for the regular Mwanainji, and especially we as women of Mount Kenya are getting to a place we will have to tell this government enough is enough. Our children have now been branded, they have been given names, they have now been called Walevis, they are now being called Mungikis, and we want to call upon the government. These are the same children you came to six months ago and you called them hustlers and you promised them a good living. We have not seen this government doing anything good for our youth. The only thing we have seen this government do for our youth is collect all of them to go to Northlands to steal sheep belonging to Kenyatta and shame on them, shame on them once again. You, you cannot continue lie to, lying to our youth like this. So we, we want to say this uh, to this government, we are watching you and I know there are many threats against us but we want to tell you we will not fear you, we will continue to be the voice of the voiceless, we will continue to stand with Wanjiku because you lied to them and now the lies have been exposed.